Hello everyone, it's Clay Ramage. Welcome to my channel. And today we have another Goodwill Outlet bins haul. Now this one was much smaller bins haul than usual. My wife and I went on Sunday afternoon, which usually we don't go on the weekends. So it was a little different for us. It was actually fairly crowded, uh, which I was surprised um, given all of the uh, things going on right now. But anyway, um, we found a few items, and so let's just get right into it. For one of the things I found, I won't say the first thing, but one of the things I found was a watch. Um, it's, it's a Timex watch. It's actually still running, working well. My wife always likes ones that has the uh, numbers, so uh, she's claimed that one already, which is great. And then I found, I mean, I'm always looking for pieces of jewelry on this little skull ring. Um, there's no markings on it. It's definitely either silver plated or sterling, but it's uh, very light, so it could be sterling, but it's hard to tell. But I just thought it was kind of cute. So I picked that up, and with Easter coming up, found this bunny with the actually eating some of the lettuce, which I thought was really cute. And it's a Department 56 item. It's got the little label still on the bottom. It does definitely need to be clean. It's a little sticky. Um, so that was a good find. No chips or anything on it, which, again, always amazes me with the bins. Another thing I found was this piece of unusual-looking pottery. Um, it's actually a candle holder. Uh, you'll see it's just got one small taper for one small taper, even though it's a great big uh, <laughs> pot, it seems to be. And the label, my old label on Goodwill label on the bottom. But anyway, I picked it up because it's stamped on the bottom. It's Red Wing Pottery. You guys know I've been picking up quite a bit of this. It says Red Wing um, in Winona, Minnesota. But um, no, I'm sorry. It just says Red Wing, Minnesota. Um, it's a newer mark. So it's not an older piece, but it's spongeware painted. So uh, I just thought it was unusual. So I picked it up. Another thing I picked up was this side. It was a Christmas item. Um, it's a birch candle plastic. It's actually a night light. Um, so I paid 50 cents for it because it's electronic. And uh, it's made in Taiwan, so it is vintage. Um, I thought it was just very cute. And being in Minnesota, birch is very common tree around here so a lot of people decorate with it so fun little thing we might keep that for us or I could put it down at the booth um so my exciting find or the nicest find I I think out of the day was this little dish um it's marked Fenton on the bottom and it's hand painted uh by a Sally um and uh a Sally, and I can't remember her first name. I looked it up and found it. But yeah, it's just a nice little bowl. It's got a pink ruffled edge along the top and painted flowers on it. It's marked. So, and what happened was they brought out some new bins. And of course, there's always, you know, people get excited when they bring out the new bins. And it, it just got crazy. People were pushing and shoving and throwing things. And I was just like, and I'm not used to that at our bins. The ones I go to usually their people are pretty um I don't know, it's polite and nice but just they got pretty rambunctious and I was kind of like okay so I kind of stepped back and then um went to this one that had a lot of glassware and that's where I found this one in there amazed it wasn't broken because people were literally just throwing stuff and you could hear it crashing they were obviously looking for something specific and didn't care about anything else um Anyway, that was just my little side note and opinion. Um, my wife found this. It's a little longer burger um, basket liner. It's a very small one. Um, so it's called a mini May floral made in the USA. And uh, longer burger is pretty popular around here. So pick that up and didn't pay very much for it. Um, my wife found this. It's a raincoat with pants. So we'll put this in the backpacks for the homeless. Another thing she found was this set of two diapers. And we make up different backpacks, one for men and one for women. 
you know, especially if they have children, we make up other ones. So that can be helpful for one of them. Oh, here's our receipt. Spent a total of $13.10. No discount on Sunday. Um, found this stationery. My wife loves giraffes. Um, it's actually from Africa. Um, and so it's from Abidjan, which is the east coast of Africa. French-speaking region, so that's why it's in French. Um, now my wife, she is a Juice Plus representative, and so she collects all sorts of fruits and vegetables for her displays. So she picked up some of those. Oh, I forgot. I also found this little black ring. I don't know if it's glass or plastic. I haven't really looked at it very much. The other thing I found was a lot today, a lot of bubble wrap. Tons of it. Um, so I like picking up at the bins because they don't make me pay for it, number one. Number two, it's expensive if you have to buy it separately. So that was nice. My wife also found this nice white wicker basket for storage of her stuff in her office. And that is pretty much all that we found at the bins. Now, there are a couple other things that I'm going to show you that I actually found at her mom's house because her mom said we could go through her sewing cabinet in case there was anything that I was interested in. And since I did upholstery work and, and I do different sewing projects currently, I, there were a couple things I picked up. One was this adorable little pin cushion hat. Um, again, I probably, I would say probably 50s, 1950s to early 60s that this is from. But Cindy said she remembers growing up her mom using that all the time. She also had this one, which had a needle sticking out of it, which I barely sticking out, which I poked myself on. So I stuck it up more. But this is a more blingy one. It's got the sequins on the side. It's got a brass trim ring. So that was really nice. So picked those up. Also picked up a whole lot of buttons. Um, just some beautiful buttons. Of all different shapes, sizes, types. So that was a fun find at mom's house. Um, and she has a lot more that we don't have time to go through, but that was a fun little find. And yeah, so other than that, I hope everyone is doing well. Take care of yourself, and uh, we'll catch you on the next time. Thanks. Bye.